here we are again. It is Saturday afternoon, uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. It's starting to get dark already. I've got the dog on the lead because we're near roads. Nice decks there. Almost Christmas. Loving it. So we've had five days of heavy rain. So the river is going to be easy surgeable. So we don't really want to be staying on a floodplain because we will get flooded out. Yeah, plodding on. So we've got no major uh, plans for this trip. Just two nights, I don't have to be back to work until Monday. So we'll go home Monday morning. Again, it's Saturday today, so plenty of time. First floodplain camp, because we had quite a lot of flooding at the start of the week. Hopefully there'll be lots of firewood there for us. And uh, I'm with my hammock, just in case the higher riverbank camp does flood. At least I'll be safe in the trees. Got all this standing water. Loads of it. Puddles everywhere. Just hope there's none at the riverbank camp. Again, we'll see. We'll just make it up as we go along. I've been walking for quite some time now. And uh, the light's leaving us. I'm not going to get to camp before it gets pitch black. So I'm going to have to stop and get my head torch out. Because it's in my food bag at the moment. It's not accessible, unfortunately. I'll have to take it off to get it. Tyson Sinner Heron flying over there. You might get that, mate. <laughs> yeah, it, the path's gone completely. It's just water and wood. I'm gonna have to get my feet wet. My feet are wet now. Path submerged about two inches there. About half a foot here. Mental. Plodding on. I mean, I'm about 100 metres away from the river. And you can tell there's a river there, like, loud. Roaring water. We're halfway there. Look at the state of him. Covered in mud. Glad they brought a towel. I mean, I'm not seeing too many trees down. You're right there, fella. Come on. Come. Food bag. I'm going to check out the lower beaches because they're all underwater. At least they look like the wannabe. Yeah, they are. Maybe be able to jump across. Because that's our main source of firewood, like over there. So a while ago I stacked a load of wood up here. So I think that'll do us tonight. Because it's been standing there quite a while. Good couple of months. So I've got little bits here also, if need be. Yeah, I can't get across to the, well, the main island because it's too flooded at the moment. Maybe by the morning, luckily, we'll uh, get to setting up because the wind chill here is diabolical. Yeah, see how enjoyable it is to put this tarp up. <laughs> Hammock tarp under quilt sleeping bag it all up. I haven't got a fire going yet. And the rain's eased a bit. Just sorting everything out. What have you got? Chewable shoe. 
<laughs> Look at the storm rings there too. It's because it always rains and it's not good to get wet. So I've got some of the wood over there I'm going to chop up. Can't use this stuff here because look it's still green it's just going to smoke like hell I managed to get myself two nice little bits very dry too trying to do this one handed As you can see my fire's lit, I had to batten every single piece of wood to start that. I'm talking like really fine stuff. My breath in the air, it's strong wind, it's raining. I am under my tarp now. It's like right down to the fire, so I'm gonna get my MSR pot on. And get a hot beverage on the go. Put some logs here, they're absolutely sodden and there's no way I'm going to be able to dry them. They're probably just going to go over the top of the fire when I go to bed. Just to see if I can preserve anything for the morning. Be a nice cappuccino. Can't believe how windy it is, eh? I mean, I picked the windiest location. But I'd rather be out here than in a woodland where trees are going to fall on us. I've had to put rocks on all my anchors now. Just because the wind keeps on ripping them out. <laughs> Love it. Tyson's under the blanket next to the fire to keep them warm. Now I've got hot ash in the bottom, the wind's helping us. So yeah, I'm not getting much heat from it though. I have to keep going close to warm my hands up and that. Cause that my bit of woods that are drying are uh, burning. So I'm just gonna chuck them on there. sausage on the go. I've just piled loads of logs up at the back of the damp but they'll, they'll burn through eventually. It's uh, quite late now and I'm just going to get this sausage cooked and eat it in my hammock where it's warm I think because that wind is diabolical. <laughs> just my corner and my socks are wet. Same place too. I'll change my socks for bed. I mean, nice weather for it, eh? 
Wow. Oh, there goes the fire. <laughs> it's gonna rip my top right all the trees are. This sausage is good, though. The hammock. This has got his Christmas jumper on just to keep him a little bit warmer. Yeah. Wind's gone, rain's gone, sun's out. Oh. Slept real good. Here's my setup from last night. I had that enclosed down, I've just put it up today. It's uh, fire's going. Pans on for hot water for coffee and porridge. It's uh yeah, that's normally walkable land. It's flooded over. There's a bit that's cleared further down so I can get onto it, which isn't that bad. That's how I've been getting some firewood. Crab apples. Look at that. And look at that. The tree's completely snapped off. Ivy's weakened it. Look at that. Yeah, this woodland is proper dead. It's like just the ground so wet. wet. Look at this. Sodden. And there's a lot of living trees, but there's more dead than living. I'm gonna take a couple, I think, just to put on my frame. Look at that. Nice and dry, too. Beautiful day considering what last night was like. Oh yes, yeah. cinnamon swell Danish pastry for eleven o'clock. Mm. Two things I'm forever doing at camp: collecting wood and drying my feet. <laughs> Now I know I'm going to get loads of comments saying you should buy wellies or waders or actually waterproof boots. Well, my boots are like a year old now, so they've had plenty of use, so I am due a new pair. But I don't mind drying socks.
got more firewood. Found a gun cartridge. No idea what type it is, it doesn't say. Not clearly anyway. Sounds like a hairdryer, eh? <laughs> I think it's one of them light helicopters. Like a, a micro light one or something. It does sound like a hairdryer. Oh, <laughs> he's stuck. What's this? What's this? That tree, woodpecker. Where's its hole look? It looks like it's had a hole right at the top there, and it's weakened the tree in the middle, and it's snapped. See, I've got to follow him, picking up bits of plastic off balls. He'll pull it off, then he'll spit it out, see? <laughs> it's five kind of nice things. Sun's going down. A lot of the islands are still underwater. These ones are starting to bring up now, look at that. Nice tree limbs. So I'm just going to chill here and watch the sun set. Get some lunch on, I think. It's about three o'clock, so it's a bit of a late lunch, but I'll have tea late tonight. So for lunch, I've got myself some bacon, mushroom, tagatelli and a cream sauce. I'm just going to heat that up on the side. And uh, prepare a, a grill space. Now I've fired that grill off. Wow. That's, that's quite warm, that like. Whew. Burning my face.
do is so hot. lunch well I am now under head torch pitch black cold night but nice and calm for a change so I've closed that far side of my tarp down again just to keep the draft off us well, there's not much of my fire left now as you can see just piled it all in the middle it's like midnight if uh, my batteries don't make it till morning, big thanks for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one.